right, this is day number 10, and this is our last breakfast before leaving Bridgeport Inn. This is an Eggs Benedict. It's a special right now, so may not be here when you get here, but pretty good. Day number 10, we're walking out of Bridgeport, leaving the Bridgeport Inn behind us, hoping to go down here and hitch a ride. Well, there's the first 30 minutes plus with uh, plenty of rejection and no takers. We must look like disasterly homeless people carrying $2,000 pack. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, $2,000 backpacks. Anyway, still waiting. Well, it took about 40 minutes, but we got our hitch. We are on our way. And I got to tell you, it's the, the people you'd least suspect that are so nice and help us out. Anything to add, Top Rock? I bet you can't even hear me in all this wind. <laughs> and the diesel. And the diesel. Okay, so we're back. But now we're going to start Section J. We kind of did a little piece of this before we left, but we got our second hitch from a couple of ladies on their way to Hawaii. They're so very Hawaii. excited going to Kauai. And it's interesting, since they stopped here at the pass, we jump out and three new guys jumped in. So she's got a load. She's taking <laughs> it's the to, shuttle service. It's the I shuttle service. It. Taking them to Kennedy Meadows. But it's been a good trip. And uh, okay, we're going to get started here and we'll catch you up the trail. Anything to say, Ken? Nope. Top Rock? Nope. We're back on trail. <laughs> back Top on trail. Rock. Top Rock. Top Rock is starting the hike out of Sonora Pass. And good to be back on the trail. Mountain behind them over there is the one we came down just a couple days ago. So Top Rock, we're on top of the world again. You got any uh, special thoughts? Nope, just chewing Snickers. Top Rock is eating his first spaghetti and meatball burrito today. What do you think of the spaghetti and meatball burrito? It's a little cold. <laughs> Since it's cold. <laughs> Other than that, it's good. <laughs> Having completed the spaghetti and meatballs, portion of his luncheon on luncheon entree <clears throat> he's moving on to the lasagna burrito one yeah folks these are not our <laughs> normal meals out here we would normally never carry a lot of weight <laughs> yeah a lot of weight fully hydrated but like we said we were in Bridgeport in the general store they had no dehydrated things and no no uh, packaged things like you know like the more typical stuff that we use uh, lightweight packaged meat but those containers aren't really that heavy once they're empty but they are kind of bulky. They do take up space. Any thoughts, Top Rock? I'm gonna have to figure out some other way to clean up my trash, make it all flat. <laughs> That's true. I don't think it'll be possible with these. <laughs> the size of his trash will definitely expand. What do you think, Top Rock? It's beautiful here, and that's the most I've used my arms this year. <laughs> Another thing that can happen on the trail is being demonstrated by Top Rock are minor repairs of minor holes. You know, in this case, I don't know if you can see it. There's a, there's a tiny little hole right there that Top Rock created uh, with his fingernail snagging it broken fingernail. and honestly being where it's at i don't know if i'd repair it or not but it was a broken fingernail. okay it was a broken it's very fingernail. painful <laughs> anyway he's, he's going to fix it with some uh, patch. uh patch that's designed to work with the tent which is made of uh dcf day 10 is drawn to a close 
we're camped here on the side of a cliff. Give you a little shot of it if you can see it. In this beautiful wilderness area, no shortage of rock, no shortage of pine trees. Hopefully it won't get too windy tonight. Anyway, day 10, it's going pretty well. We're now in section J and uh, making our way up towards the Lake Tahoe area. Echo Lake is actually where we stop. Top Rock, anything you want to add for day 10? Went okay, hitches were okay, double hitch, that worked out okay. Yeah. And we're here, so moving on. All I gotta say is fair winds and happy trails. Thank you.